In the biochemistry of minerals, we are going to learn about iron. About 70% of the total body content of iron occurs in erythrocytes of blood as a constituent of hemoglobin. And at least 5% of body iron is present in myoglobin of muscles. Foods that are rich sources of iron are meat, especially liver, heart and kidney. Leafy vegetables, pulses, cereals, fish, apples, dried fruits, molasses are also good sources of iron. While milk, wheat, polished rice are considered as poor sources of iron. The dietary requirement of iron in an adult man is 10 mg per day. A menstruating woman requires 18 mg per day of iron while a pregnant or lactating woman needs 40 mg per day of iron. Coming to the biochemical functions, iron is a component of hemoglobin and myoglobin which are required for the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Iron is also a component of cytochromes and certain non-heme proteins which are necessary for electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation. The lysosomal enzyme peroxidase also contain iron. Peroxidase is required for phagocytosis of bacteria by neutrophils. Lastly, iron is associated with effective immunocompetence of the body. Now let's have a look at the absorption, transport and storage of iron. Iron is mainly absorbed in stomach and duodenum. Our foods mostly contain iron in ferric form. Stomach contains reducing substances like ascorbic acid and cysteine, which convert ferric iron to ferrous form. Iron in ferrous form is soluble and readily absorbed by intestinal mucosal cells. The mucosal cells contain an enzyme ferroxidase, which oxidizes ferrous iron back to ferric iron. This iron then combines with apoferritin to form ferritin which is the temporary storage form of iron in mucosal cells of intestine. From mucosal cells, iron may enter the bloodstream, which mainly depends on the body's need, or it can be lost when the cells are desquamated. In plasma, iron is again oxidized to ferric form by a copper-containing protein called ceruloplasmin. Ferric iron then binds with specific iron binding protein called transferrin. Transferrin can bind with 400 mg of iron per deciliter of plasma. This is known as total iron binding capacity of plasma. Transferrin transfers iron to different tissues for utilization and storage, for example, in bone marrow to make hemoglobin, in muscles to make myoglobin, in liver for storage as ferritin. Iron is not excreted in urine. Its loss from the body is less than 1 mg per day, which may occur through bile, sweat, hair loss, etc. Hence, iron is regarded as a one-way substance. There are three disease states associated with iron. First is iron deficiency anemia. There are several factors that contribute to iron deficiency anemia. These include inadequate intake or defective absorption of iron, chronic blood loss, repeated pregnancies, and hookworm infection. It mostly occurs in growing children, adolescent girls, pregnant and lactating women. It is characterized by microcytic hypochronic anemia with low hemoglobin levels. Other manifestations include apathy, which mean being dull and inactive, sluggish metabolic activities, retarded growth, and loss of appetite. It is treated with iron supplementation along with folic acid and vitamin C. Second is hemosiderosis. In this disorder, there is excessive iron in the body. It is commonly caused by repeated blood transfusions like in patients of hemolytic anemia and hemophilia. As I have already stated that iron is a one-way compound, once it enters the body, it cannot escape. So when ferritin stores of iron are full, 
the excessive iron is deposited as hemosiderin in liver causing hemosiderosis third is hemochromatosis this is a rare disease in which iron is directly deposited in the tissues like liver spleen pancreas and skin manifestations of this disorder are bronzed pigmentation of skin cirrhosis of liver and fibrosis of pancreas hemosiderosis is sometimes accompanied by hemochromatosis